Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the question that you have been asking yourself for years. We are going to answer the question that you have been typing into Google, into YouTube search bars, into Amazon searches to try to find a self-help book for this. What is the question? Well, if you saw the JPEG thumbnail and you read the title at the bottom, I'm sure you already know. But how do you start a writing career? It seems like a perfectly reasonable question to ask. It seems like something that everyone should want to know how to do. So my question to you is what kind of writing do you want to do do you just want to write to make a living because doing like copywriting stuff and writing reviews and shit like that there are tons of places that you could just do shit like that you could go on fiverr and um hawk yourself on there writing copy for like sales copy for any product on in the on the planet you can um, go on odesk and I think Upwork and um, things like this to just do writing jobs like that. So look into that if that's something you want to do. If you want to ghostwrite, um, you could probably get very steady work from a few different authors. Doing shit like that is reasonable if you are into doing that, where you would basically write a book for someone who doesn't have time to write a book, and then they'll pay you for it, and then they'll go sell the book and maybe you'll get royalties for it. You probably won't. It's usually like a one-time payment thing. And um, you're good to go with that if that's what you're into doing. Do you want to write scripts? Do you want to write novels? Do you want to write short stories? Do you want to write serials? Do you want to write poetry? What is it that you want to actually write? Do you want to write comics? That's a thing you can do. Figure out what you want to write, and then this is like the, the hardest part of this whole fucking thing. The part that a lot of people, this is where a lot of people fall off of this idea of having a writing career. You have to actually fucking write, okay? So once you decide what it is you want to fucking do, you have to actually sit down and put your fucking hands on the keyboard and do the thing. You know what I'm saying? You have to fucking type. You, that That's it. Like, you have to fucking write. Now, after that, after you write your novel, your short story, and all this other stuff, a lot of people, what they will do is fall off. What happens to the writer after they finish something is they either spend the next six to nine months or a year editing and shopping this thing they're going to do. And, and they don't think about another project. Like, they can't even be bothered because they just want to get this thing sold. Or they do what everyone else does and just self-publish and then market the shit out of it. Because the question is, how do you start a writing career? It wasn't, how do you write? Okay? When you put the word career in it, career sounds like a job. Sounds like business. So if you're going to do and have a writing career, a writing business, there has to be a part of your mind that can do the business side of things. Now, a lot of writers will try to get a literary agent, and that is sometimes easy, sometimes difficult. I think the easier thing to do, honestly, is to get a entertainment lawyer. And so if you live in a metropolitan area, an entertainment lawyer should be fairly simple for you to get. If not, then you're going to have to like do a lot of Zoom calls and shit like that. But an entertainment lawyer knows agents, knows publishers, knows all of these people already. So an entertainment lawyer will take you if they think you might have some talent, and especially if you pay them, okay? And then they will work for you. So I think that's a much easier way than you cold calling people or cold emailing people or even worse, having your significant other 
pretend to be your agent or something like that, okay? Um, unless, of course, your significant other is a fucking agent, and then that's fine. The other thing is, you always have to have what the next project is, and the project after that, and the project after that. And this makes things really difficult, especially if you're one of those people who writes to mood. Like, I'm in the mood to write a horror story today. I'm in the mood to do some sci-fi. Okay? When you have to schedule shit, it makes it difficult for those types of people. But, for instance, in filmmaking, um, doing the scripts and everything like that, a lot of times when the only reason why I work so much is because I always had ideas of things I wanted to do. And a lot of times I had numerous scripts like in my back pocket. So when I would go to a meeting and pitch something to a producer or something like that, if he was like, um, well, I don't know what else she got. I could go, bam, bam. It, it was like, I was like a gunman in the wild west, you know? I always had shit to throw out. And then two, when you do a project for somebody and they really liked it, they're like, what's the next project? What are we doing next? And I'd go, Whoa! and like throw another script at them, you know? But with books, it's the same fucking thing. Because if people like your books, like your stories, especially if you're self-publishing, again, if you're self-publishing novels do a series, one character in a series, or a group of characters in a series. Because you always want your readers to still be excited about your shit. They sign up for your mailing list. They read your first book. When's the next book coming out? Well, guess what? I just sent you an email. It's already out. And you're like, oh my god! And then, like, in the back of the book, it tells you when the next book's coming out. Or, like, click this here to pre-order the book. Or the whole thing. Whatever. And you just keep doing it and keep these open-ended. And if you can do this, you have a actual writing career. You have a fucking business now. Do you see what I'm saying? So you always have to keep looking ahead to the future. And that's why I always say, like, I think it's really good for when people are going to start a series or start doing... Um, like monthly publications or weekly publications to have like three to six months of that in the can before you even start. So there's no delays and it gives you plenty of time to keep doing the fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? So think of what you want to do because that's the most important thing. Like if you're not excited about this, it's just going to be like every other shit job you ever fucking had. So what excites you? What do you want to do? Figure that out and then put a plan together. Like, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go traditional publish? Do you want to go self-publish? Are you making movies? Are you doing plays? What the fuck are you doing? And have a ton of shit and a ton of ideas ready to fucking go. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions like this, let me know down below. Let me know um, down below if you are on the fence about like starting a writing career and you don't know what to do next. I will do whatever I can. Okay. So type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career with the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.